you guys, it's Miss Neil from Chandler Athenaeum, and today I'm going to be doing another read aloud, and it's going to be a continued video from the day that the crayons quit. This is the second book in the series, and it's called The Days the Crayons Came Home, and it introduces new colors. And this fun is just as fun as the other book. All right. The Day the Crayons Came Home by Drew Daywolf. One day, Duncan and his crayons were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Crayon. You only colored with me once to draw a scab. Well, whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago in the couch. Then your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I would never have survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come and get me. And can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your marooned crayon, maroon crayon. And then there's the Paperclip holding him together. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the color. Pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Estevan the Magnificent. Formerly known as Pea Green. Hi Duncan, it's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great vacation we had with your family? Remember how we laughed and when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly you do not because I'm still here. How could you miss me? Anyways, after eight months waiting for you to come back and come and get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, Neon Red Crane. Now, before I show you this next page, in the day that the crayons quit, Orange and Yellow were having an argument about who was the real color of the sun, and they didn't really handle it well. Let me show you this page now. Look what happened to them. And look at this detail. Duncan, it's us, Yellow and Orange. We know we used to argue over which one of us was the color of the sun, but guess what? Neither of us want to be the color of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. You know, the real color of the sun? Hot. That's what. We're sorry for arguing. Can you make green the sun? Just please bring us home. You're not so sunny friends. Yellow and orange. Hey, Duncan, I'm sure you don't recognize me after the horrors I've been through. I think I was tan crayon or, or maybe burnt sienna. I, I don't know. I, I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug. Duncan, it's not pretty. Not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back? Your undisguisable friend, tan, or possibly burnt sienna, crayon. Ugh, yuck. <laughs> Here's pea green again. Dear Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. Oh, and here's that picture. He has like a little cute bag with them. This is a really cool page. I wish I was able to show you guys what this looks like in the dark, but it's a glow in the dark crayon. Hey, Duncan, remember last Halloween, we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall. 
It was sure funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come get me. I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend glow in the dark crayon. Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, and France. I think. Just crossing New Jersey by camel now. New Jersey has giant pyramids. Right? See you soon, neon red crayon. P.S. Next stop, the North Pole. I think. <laughs> you guys, does that look like New Jersey? Does anyone know what New Jersey looks like? Or where New Jersey is? So this one's a little funny. This one's my favorite page. Duncan, does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you it'd make me blunt if you'd color each coin individually. But would you listen? No. I also told you those crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also, no. No, I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, Gold Crayon. Now, if Gold Crayon was pointless, he had his pencil, his pencil friend, help him write it. So down below, it says, this is not fun for me. And it has this <laughs> the sharpener on him. And then pencil is saying, I had to write it for him. All right, here's P. Green again. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's raining. I'm coming back. Esteban the Magnificent. Hi, Duncan. You're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock. A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Could you please come get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed? You're stinky, socky, Stucky on head buddy, turquoise crayon. P.S. Sock says hi. And then on this picture, he says, Tell him I said hi. <laughs> Dear Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon, and I know I belong to your baby brother, but I can't take him anymore. In just last week alone, he's bitten the top of my head off, put me in the cat's nose, and he drew all over the wall. <sighs> he tried to color garbage with me. The worst part is, is that he's a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkeys? Monkeys? Donkey monkeys? Picasso said every child is an artist, but I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please rescue me, your desperate friend, big, chunky, toddler crayon. <clears throat> Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest, making great time. I think I'm almost home, neon red crayon. Does that look like the Amazon rainforest? Does anyone know what neon red crayon is wearing right there? Hello, Duncan. It's me, brown crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. Candy bars, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? But they don't know what else you use me to color, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great, but did it really need that final brown scribble? I'll come back, but please, let's stick to candy bars, okay? Your very embarrassed friend, Brown Crayon.
Duncan was sad to learn of all the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken, or neglected over the years. So he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crayons were also damaged and differently shaped than they used to be, and they no longer fit in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. Now, this next page has a lot of detail to it. I will try my hardest to make sure the picture is clear and you guys can see everything. Um, he built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. So in this picture, all the, crayon, the crayons are all saying something different. And to their notes, they said something that they needed or what they wanted, and he made a home for them. So over here is the hairy, gross dog throw up crayon that says, there's no dogs down there, are there? And then here is our beige friend from last book. Nope, no turkeys either. And then here's our brown crayon that says, oh, you flatter me, but it's not real chocolate. Because right here is a chocolate bar that was drawn onto the house. Here's white again. I know that may be a little tough to see. And it, he said, let's have a party. The little, the toddler crayon is saying, this one is from my blue period. And then the pink one says, but it's not really blue. It's more lilac, which is this purple color. And then here is the orange and yellow crayon. This door has both of them drawn on it and they're saying, I think that door is for us. The pencil is saying, ah, there you are. I could use a haircut. And here comes Gold Crayon. Hope there isn't a metal detector. <laughs> Talking about the house. Maroon Crayon is saying, no, I think everyone is welcome. Gray is saying, looks good. Over here is our, ooh, it's a little tough to see, I'm sorry, but that was our crayon that no longer had his paper on him. And ended up finding some underwear, thank goodness. And he says, what are you wearing to the turquoise crayon? He says, oh, I think he goes by 10. And then the sock replies, I'm 10. I'm gonna put this up really close so you guys can really see all that. Again, these two books are some of my favorite favorite to read out loud because you get to act it out, you get to be silly, you get to make fun facial expressions. And then here is our last page with pea green and our hot red friend. And it says, and then I'm in Cleveland. I got to hike the Great Wall of China. Is the Great Wall of China in Cleveland? My goodness. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed these books. These are my absolute favorite, and I hope to see you guys soon. Have a great day.